What's up, mechanics? Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to episode 51 of Tool Tuesday here at Fan Tool Tech Or past 50 or Yeah, well, we're going to do something special for like 100 or something because we didn't do anything. So it's a year. For 50. Well, 52 is a year, so it makes more sense. You said for 50 we were going to get a 5 of the last thing. Well, it didn't mean to say that. Well, let's go back to episode 2. We're going to say we're going to get a 5 of the We're going to do a rewind because uh, he did say that. Anyways. Seems like the one you got rid of. So, uh, we have some questions, and the first one is somebody asking if we're going to make the sockets that are in the FRBS-89 in standard, because currently they're only in metric. So we are considering it. We are actually bringing out a set in metric standalone, but the issue with the SAE is that it requires tooling that haven't been done just yet. That being said, we need to ensure that we have the demand for that tooling to make sense to pay for it. How many of you would actually use it, or how many of you think it'd be cool to see it, but, you know, there's another option for you. Or how, how, like how many explain of you what, need that? Explain what tooling is, because I feel like most people probably haven't heard that before. Well, tooling for, you know, if you're if you're manufacturing something, the tooling of it is essentially setting up, whether it's molds, whether it's machinery, whether it's different blades, whatever you have to do to set up a machine to actually make something is tooling for it. And depending on what it is, it could be very expensive, or it could be very or, simple and cheap. Yeah, so to make the mold, you have to have a drawing, you have to have like all specific dimensions, and you have to write that into a code for the machine to actually stamp it and do everything. I mean, that, yeah, but the, the issue is actually setting up the machine. So you need a different blade, you need it to be angled differently, you need to do this, this, this. It's just one machine doesn't just do it, you have to so set it up to do it, which is the tooling, tooling is a big, long process that costs a lot of money. <laughs> it is. So, so each item that you see has at one point been tooled. Yeah. Nothing is just like a. Done. <laughs> That'd be nice though. Okay, uh, can you guys make a half inch version of the SMS 400 and 600? We can, but as I've said many times before, we are uh, quarter and three eighths is the, the level that we're at right now. But there it's, not to, a lot say, of it's people, not to say we won't do it. Like no, that. there's a lot of people who would actually want half inch, and one of them is actually sitting right behind me. Oh, yeah? I'm a big half inch guy. Why don't, you, why don't you tell them everyone what you do? Just talk. You're good. You're good. You're good. Tell them what you do. Conveyor maintenance. Conveyor maintenance. And he would require half inch. He actually came in here trying to see some stuff that he could use. He did take some 3 eighths, but he was upset when he found we didn't have half inch stuff. Half inch or three quarter. Yeah, half inch, three quarter. quarter. We're quarter. limited on that. We, we do need three quarter ratchet. I got he, he's got one already. He's got, got one. Yeah, he's got one. Okay, good. He's got one from us. Yeah. So well, that being said, how, yeah, how the hell though? Awesome. Awesome. Never, never skip the beat. There we go. That being said, that we we do need to make a jump into the heavy duty stuff. We're we're slowly. we're getting there. We're getting there. Right. It's on it's on it's on cruise control, but slowly getting ready to slam it, I guess. I would love to see a long handle quarter inch ratchet with a flex head, but with a full size comfort grip. So that's, that's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> you can pause it, rewind, pause it if you want, but just know we'll talk about that later. Down the road. Down the road once we finalize exactly what we're doing to buy us. Yeah. And then this guy says, I would love to see a long half inch flex stab ratchet. A what? A long half inch. Oh. There you go. That's all you get. Rewind, pause it, and uh, tell us what you think from what you saw so far. But we are coming out with it. It's just not. A matter of how or no. It's not a matter of what. It's a matter of how. Does that make sense? That doesn't make any sense. Well, yes. Yeah, I don't. We don't know what we're doing just yet. We know we're bringing it out. We don't know how we're bringing it out just yet. We're trying to to make sure that it is. It's a has everything that we think it should. You know, the first one came in. We were like, oh no, we should change this. And the second one comes in. Oh no, we should change that. What's the problem in this? I suppose. That's my fault. <laughs> or is it your fault? Perfectionist. Oh, you want to you don't want it again. Okay, here comes Hancock Automotive. Do the ratchet holders come in orange? Is the detent ball going to hold the ratchet in or is it magnetic? It's only going to be green, right? Yeah, only be green. Yes, it does have a detent on the inside so that the. Yeah, the detent magnet ball isn't holding the ratchet, the ratchet at all. The detent ball on the ratchet actually locks in here. It's only it's magnetic on the back side. It's not just held in by a magnet. Well, it's not held in at all by the magnet. Mine said it's not just held in by the magnet. Per se, it's not even at all held in by the magnet. 
Not held in at all, by the way. There you go. There you go. That's a fire. Okay. Um, yeah, so people were saying that the pink and purple rails looked a little like washed out. That was definitely just the camera. It's hard to have that color come across on this camera, but but they're more of a neon color. They pop. Yeah. That's for sure. So what you saw, because he said the pink purple kind of looked like a lavender. That was it. That's just the camera. That's yeah. all it is. That's it. That's all we have questions? <laughs> That's it for questions. All right. So we are actually filming two episodes today because while you're watching this, it'll actually be the second day, first or second day. Now, it'll be the first day of SEMA 2023, and that's where we will be, so obviously we can't film this area here. That being said, we're going to film the episode you're watching, and next week's at the same time, where we will pick the winner of our monthly giveaway, so you can see that. Um, that being said, we want to talk a little bit about SEMA, where you can find us, because as you're watching this, you might already be in Vegas, and at that point, you come visit us at booth number what? Three eight one seven seven. Yeah, sorry. Three eight one seven seven. Eight one seven seven. I'm impressed you knew that. I'm sorry. Big neon letters. <laughs> to be there. I've had a lot of people ask. <laughs> Three eight one seven seven. We will be there. Square Island booth. Come yeah. see us. You're gonna see a ton of stuff. I mean, yeah. a ton. Like three bags each carrying samples. A ton. We pack a lot onto a small amount of tables. <laughs> so it is going to be heavy. So each table is packed with stuff. And if you come by and say, uh, show me what's new, it'll take 30 minutes. Yeah, come by with a little bit of time and patience. Yes. And a camera. Cool. That's yeah. all there is to say about that. But something that I do want to talk about is some shirt designs that we will have there for purchase as well as available on our website exclusively. So this won't be found on the tool truck itself just yet because they're not launched in that. We, we don't have a launch to tool trucks just yet because we don't. So our first run, small batch, exclusively on our website. So, first of all, this is the shirt that we're going to be wearing ourselves at SEMA, if you can see it. Scan me, QR code. It definitely works, I tried it. Yeah. Takes you to our Instagram. Bam. And the reason that we'll be wearing these is A, so people can go to our Instagram, follow us, and blah, 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 the marketing part of it. But B, the guys here at the are actually doing a giveaway. We'll tell you a little bit more about it at SEMA if you want to come see us in person, but it is going to include entry to a raffle with a special code that we give you at SEMA for that guy right there. Now, you're not going to get like the, the display backing, but you are going to get all of the rails. So if you know anything about mag rails, you it's know about that, $1, retail if you know anything about mag rails, they are expensive. You're going to get all the rails, different colors, different sizes, the pegs. The ring lifters, it's the whole shebang. 24 different rails, four different sizes. We'll let you pick a color. How about that? Because we don't want to just send a whole bunch of random different colors. They might have some colors that they use in their toolbox already. Yeah, we can do that too. So the winner, tell us what colors you want, uh, and we'll send you those colors. But that's about $1,000 in rails. So those are, that's a big deal. So remember, in order to get access to that, you're going to have to come see us at our booth in SEMA. Yes. Great. Yeah. <laughs> we just came up with that. <laughs> Come see us at our booth at SEMA to get our special code to enter in to win that raffle off our website. Also, this is the shirt we're wearing. Check them out. Scan them. Keep it moving. And it's got the, uh, our... That's the first time we put the S2 logo on a shirt. Our trademark S2 logo. Because they may... Okay. Maybe it's hard to see. But it's on the right sleeve. Right here. And uh, no pinstripe logo on the front, just a regular one. It's a little different. But we don't sell those, so don't have one. Okay, what is this? 2X. What, you got something to say? No. <laughs> no. God. God, Michael. Anywho, so I want to introduce a line of shirts that we'll be, like I said, releasing. And it is by Tool Life. Our first inaugural Nutbusters logo. Design. Look at that. The Nutbusters. Right? Right And if you can't understand the reference, you shouldn't be buying the shirt. Or you're too young. Oh no, they came out with another one recently, didn't they? They did. I didn't watch it. Check that shit out, man. Custom designed, 
hand drawn by us and brought to life by a designer of ours. Did they ruin it? What? The new the new movie. What about it? Did they ruin it? I don't. I don't watch that shit. No. <laughs> 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 that shit fucking Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay. Check that guy out. So. We here at Vim are big guy friendly, as you can see if we weren't, I wouldn't really be working here. We have sizes small, all the way up through 3X. We'll have them available in military green. We'll have them available in Santan. We'll have them available in black. And lastly in brown. So I tried to choose colors that went well with design, and that wouldn't get too dirty, except for the sand tan. <laughs> yeah, I really like this one here. I like it a lot too, but again, I liked it, so I chose it, but the it gets dirty. That's a problem. Yeah. So, tell us what you think about them. If you like design, if you like the shirts, if you want to see another color, if you would buy this, if you don't give a shit, whatever it is, you let us know in those comments. Let's get to the tools. All right, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Forgot about those. Is that what we're doing here? I think so. All right. So, a new product that's in. You remember our EDM 400. Well, we made a little change here. And what we did is we made the EDM 400A. Boom. We went from a five piece to a nine piece. And we added, oops, let me say that overhead. And we added four additional sizes, the 12, 13, 14, and 15. Same concept, they are still quarter inch. So for the bumper removal job, you can still get into tight access. We added the four exercises. So you go from seven to 15, zero skips, nine piece set, EDM 400A. We're gonna have a three eighths set also, a little later on. Exactly, we will have a three eighths version coming, but you will not find the EDM 400 five piece anymore. That is what you're getting now. Full nine piece kit. Yep, EDM 400A. And uh, something else that we wanna talk about was our Let's make them clear. They're not here just yet. They're coming. They're on the way in. Your tool trucks can get them and put them on order, but they won't have them stock yet. That is not their fault. That's on us. Yeah. So our lug nut sockets. This is part number RLWS one hundred. We've had these for four months now, going on around there. Um, and the, you know, this is called we, what we call a rapid load system. And some of you guys may not know that's that. The first question. What's the rapid load? Yeah, that's always the first question. What's rapid load mean? So we have a load display. And here's a square drive that you would find on an impact, right? And so there's a retaining ring around the tip that usually makes it a bitch to get sockets on and off. And there's a new So this is the typical square drive on a socket. And I go to put that on. And you kind of have to fight it. And it, it kind of... Anytime you got a new the, impact the, or change the O-ring, you know. The, the O-ring kind of makes it difficult sometimes to get that on. So, with the rapid load system, how there's concaves around the flat sides of the square drive, this just goes on. Feet just snap it right into the sock. Much easier. And it's it's not like something that's going to save your life. I mean, obviously, yeah, you can fight with your, with your sockets all day. You may not care. But something that makes ours different, and that's kind of our... Motto, Evan. So that's the rapid load lug nut sockets RLWS100, and we may be doing more with the rapid load system in the future. And we have a three-piece kit now. Would you want to see a four-piece kit? Potentially a five-piece kit? What, what would you be interested in in terms of wheel load sockets? Or would you like the whole set of impact sockets with rapid load? You let us know, and we'll listen. And the other thing that we wanted to ask about was this. What do you think? I hate that thing. Should we do it? Is it something you're interested in? So this is a four-in-one um, lug nut socket. So you don't have to move anything here, it'll do it itself. If you're using, if there's a 17 millimeter lug nut you're trying to get onto, it'll work just like that. The internal size is 17. And yeah, push and it if down. it's a 21, it's when you go to get on the lug nut, this will push down and revealing a 21 millimeter. My thing personally, I do like it. I like the idea behind it. The design is cool, but, but, if you're not working on like a run of the mill normal rim, you're working on you know some of these nicer cars. They have much smaller space to get into. You need a thin wall socket for those. Problem is that that Look, is not thin wall. I thought the same thing, and then I went and tried it, and it did. It does work. 
So you don't need a thin wall for your truck. I'm talking about like a. Like I tried it on a bunch of cars with it, but obviously, yeah, you know. What do you guys think? Do you think that'll work, or do you think that's much too thick of an outer wall for that to work at all for your application? Granted, some of you are going to say yes, some of you are going to say no, but I want to know kind of how it's skewed. Yeah. Four uh, ones. You have to buy four. Yeah. Buy one. Yeah. And we have two other things that we want to talk about. Samples wise. So. These are angle adapters. They're not necessarily these, brand new to the market. These are angle adapters. Yeah, I know, but the ones you see out there now have a chain that runs along the inside. As opposed to gears, which this is a gear mechanism. So you're not gonna have the slippage that you have on a chain. And you can actually see all those gears moving as you turn one side. And so this has some adapters. You have a- You use an extension on it. A holder. bit holder. Yeah, you, can, you have a quarter square drive and a three-eighths square drive. So, what do you think? We also have a quarter inch with a square drive on this side. Yes, that's a fixed square drive. That is long. So, there's different designs. We're trying to show what we can do with it, different sizes, different lengths, et cetera, et cetera. But the main thing is that the design of it is gear, not chain. We want to know if you guys see that this is something that you see used for in the market. And we're trying to come out with a full impact set. But obviously, it's the first thing some people are going to do is put these on an impact. So, we're trying to make sure that these are impact with gears, whereas a chain, I don't believe, holds up to an impact. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would, it's definitely will break at some point. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know the science, but just from what I understood. If you know. see it come out with our name, just know that we've tested it enough to make sure that it's it's good. Precisely. Look at Yeah, that one's grown. This one is satin. We were going to decide between the two, but I'm pretty sure we'll do satin. Because all of our stuff is satin. Yeah, I don't like the chrome. I'm not a, it's weird. It's like a... It just it's like when you move, if you ever move from a country and you stop eating that food and then you get used to the other food and you come back and try it and you don't like it. No <laughs> That's you with Chrome. That's me with Chrome. <laughs> it took me a while to get on the sad, but then, you know, we've just been stuffed with Chrome for so long. Yeah, no, you removed And now I see Chrome on I'm like, ah. You removed all the Chrome on your truck. Okay. Actually, it was sad. On my car? Your trigger. Yeah. On what car? On the truck? Mm -hmm. No. It wasn't sad. It was sad. It was not sad. Not the, not the handles, but the grill. The grill wasn't a metal. It Just was saying. plastic. Just saying. You know what you're saying. It was a gloss black. No, no, it's gloss black now. You know what you're saying. But it's a sat it was a satin finish. This guy's so gross. It was a satin finish. It was just gray. It was just silver. There was no. I'm not even waste time looking it up. It was just he had satin all over his truck and he removed it all. He had a 5-0. Stop. 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 I bet you a lot of these guys will agree that that was a good decision. Oh. Would you trade in your 5.0 for an F-150? Would you? Are you a Mustang guy? Yeah. But I would trade it in for an F-150. Yeah. What do you have, Chevy? 5.0, I have Ford, no, Chevy, GMC, I got it all. Okay. Diverse guy. He's dream car. I'm not yeah. running oil. I think my new dream car is a Cadillac CT5 18. I mean 18. Um, fuck, I just forgot the name of it. Shit on here. Can't remember. It's a CT5. Anywho, that's all we have for today, is it not? Yeah, that's all. We're going to go to the next one. We're running pretty late, but Russ is looking at us like. <laughs> it's a lot of editing to do in one day. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next week.